Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. It's Eki. If it's your first time seeing me, you're welcome. Today's video is essential makeup products for beginners. If you are a beginner, then you need to keep on watching while we go right into this video. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is essential makeup products for beginners. So I'm going to be starting off with my brows and then I go to the skin. I'll be setting with the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. So if you are used to my channel, you know that I am always doing this routine. So this just helps my brows stay in place all day and also keep the oil at bay. I'll be filling in my brows with the Blood Cosmetic Brow Pomade. But for a beginner, I would sincerely advise that you start off with a brow pencil so you have control over your product. So, I highly suggest you start your brows with a brow pencil. I'm just using this to outline my brows following my natural brow line. You also want to line the top of your brows just to give it a shape. I'll be using this short pencil to fill my brows in. Like this pencil has gone through a lot with me. I got this pencil two years ago. Yeah. And I'm sure if I'm if I should tell Zaron Cosmetics that this is their brow pencil, they will never believe me. I just use my pencil and give it a short hairlike strokes. I'll be highlighting my brows using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Warm Honey. You need a 2-3 to three shade concealer that is lighter than your skin tone. I have a detailed brow tutorial guys on my channel. So if you want to see that, I'll be leaving the link in my description box. Do well to watch that as soon as you're done watching this. So I always love to start highlighting my brows for my brow bone. The Ellie Girl Pro Concealer goes for about three to four dollars. This is very very affordable for a beginner, and it blends out well and easily, so you won't find it difficult when blending. For the top of my brows, I'm using my Skin Color Foundation. For a beginner, I really recommend that you use your Skin Color Foundation. Okay, next, guys, I'll be priming my lid with the same Ella Girl Pro Concealer in Warm Honey that I use in highlighting my brows. I'm blending in the concealer with a blending brush. I'll suggest that you don't use too much of the concealer so you don't get creasing around your lid. So I'll be setting using the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. I used earlier in setting my brows to keep the concealer in place because i'm not going to use eyeshadow for this look okay so i'll be using the finishing powder from melani in 109 warm to also set my lid so i just want my lid to look flawless so basically your brows you need just two products your brow pencil and a concealer next i'll be lining my eyes with the carrot gel liner in in black ink as a beginner you don't really need to go all the way to wing liner i i will suggest you just draw a straight line and then that will do by the time you practice and practice you will definitely get how to do your wing line. So I'm using this mascara from Maybelline Rocket Volume Express. So this mascara will give volume to your lash. So you can decide to either leave your lash like this or you pop on some lash. So I'm going to be using this lash. This is actually a no name okay so i've cleansed my face and moisturized i'm going to be using this primer to prime my face from rimmel stay matte skin is oily you need a mattifying primer to prime your skin and also when it comes to your moisturizer use a moisturizer that has sunscreen or if it doesn't you can get sunscreen so you protect your skin from direct sunlight 
so guys i'll be using these two foundation this is from Maybelline, and this is um melani in amber number 11 so i'll be mixing both of them for my skin okay, the reason why i love mixing foundation is because i feel i get a better shade that matches my skin tone what you should know as a beginner is you need a foundation that matches your skin tone if you don't use a foundation that matches your skin tone you realize that your face now looks lighter we are lighting my under eye with the LA girl pro concealer i used earlier in highlighting my brows i allow it to dry down just a little bit before i start blending and i always love to start my blending from here i don't like blending my under eye first that's because for a beginner actually when you blend your under eye first it tends to crease before you're done blending the rest of your face so i would highly recommend that you leave your under eye for the last you need to blend your concealer gently so you won't have a creasing on the eyes so i'll be setting using the sasha buttercup setting powder i used earlier for my brows you need to set all the highlighted place i feel the only thing you need is just to set and don't bake i highly suggest you don't bake i use the beauty sponge i use in blending out my foundation and highlights to set my under eyes for a beginner i feel you need a blending sponge because this will actually help your work to be easier and faster and it also absorb most of the products before you put them on your skin next i'm going to be setting the whole of my face with a finishing powder in warm next i'll be contouring my face with the Maybelline fit me in 340 cappuccino this is just to give my face some dimension you contour to hide and then highlight is to bring out if your forehead is way smaller than mine i think you should be highlighting way more than you contour so for a small forehead you basically be contouring your hairline not the forehead because if you contour your forehead it means everything will be hidden for my nose contour i like to start from the beginning of my brows just like so all the way down to the bridge of my nose and to the tip of my nose and just bring it down i'm lining with the colossal kajal eyeliner from Maybelline. next i'll be blushing up my face with the milani baked blush this blush is actually having some shimmers inside so if you're a beginner and you're using this blush this will serve as a blush and also an highlight which i feel is even easier for you to work with you see that i'm having that glow already for me, I'll still want to go in with an highlight, so I'm going to be using this highlight from Noban Beauty. I'll be using this basil. I'll be applying that to my cheekbone. Next, I'll be spraying my face with the Make It Last from Melani. This setting spray is um prime correct and set 
so this will leave your makeup a lasting all day i'm just gonna leave that to dry down okay guys so i'm going to be using this lippy from eye magic you can use a gloss lip stain whatever you want to apply on your lips you can definitely use that okay guys that is it for this video thank you so much for watching if you find this video helpful please give it a thumbs up share with friends leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe right here and ring the bell so you don't miss new videos stay tuned stay blessed and stay beautiful till i come your way next time bye guys